Hello. Now, actually, when we install the Gem device to add user authentication, there are a lot of different options that the Gem provides us. So we can see there is database authenticatable, omni-authable, confirmable, and so on. And when we add device to our users, it also gives us a few different options that are not switched on by default. And now we're actually going to see how some of these options work. So we're going to start with trackable. Now, what does device trackable give us? If we go to the device documentation and open uh, trackable, we see that it actually gives us five uh, attributes that we can add to our users table to track additional information, like how many times the us uh, user signed in, then the IP addresses of his current and uh, last signed in. So we can actually track some kind of additional information about our user. And if we track the sign-in IP, we can, for example, do it in order to know uh, from what locations, geographical locations, our users use our application. So let's try to add device trackable to our application. Now I'm going to actually go to the device documentation and there is this wiki. And you see this wiki is really, really big, 141 pages, but some of the pages are quite outdated, but uh, a lot of stuff doesn't change so often. So we're going to go to how to add device lockable and you see it's really up to date. No, not lockable, we need the uh, device trackable. Now we're going to start with device trackable. Okay, and you see we need to first of all go to our users RB and whitelist device trackable. So here we have device trackable, we're going to whitelist it like this. And then we will need to add these fields to our user's model. Now, if we go to this wiki, we can see that we can run a migration like Rails Generate Migration. And actually, it can be any name, but this is a good name, add trackable to device. And now we are going to add these five columns. So let's add these five columns in the new migration. Like this. Okay, so we're adding sign-in count, current sign-in add, last sign-in add current sign-in IP and last sign-in IP. Okay, and uh, let's run the migration. So Rails DB migrate. Okay, and let's start our console, Rails console, and see the user, user.first. Uh, are there any users? Let's see, user.count. Okay, there are no users in the application, so I will exit and start the server once again. Now I'm going to sign up. So an email, a password. I have signed up. And if we go to the console, device should have actually recorded the sign-in IP and so on. So let's see, I will start the console and say user.first. And uh, let's try to get the user.first dot uh, last sign in IP. And here's the last sign in IP. We can also get the current sign-in IP. You see, in this case, it is the same. The sign-in count, this should be one. And the current sign-in add, so it would be the date, time, when the user signed in, so it works. And you see, it's really easy to add device trackable. Now, possibly, you will want to make it visible somewhere inside your application. So we're going to add a view a user show view so that the user, for example, can see when he signed in. So we're going to create a user's controller. Going to controllers and creating a user's controller. And it will have class users controller that inherits from application controller. And we'll have, let's say, an index page. And on this index page, we will have all users. So it will be users equals user dot all. And in our roots, we'll add a resource for users only index. Okay. And we will add a view. So we are going to go to our views. And here we will create a folder named users. And here we will have an index view index.html.erb. And here we will list all users. We'll say users.each do user, then an end statement at the end, not to forget. And we will say uh, user.email, for example, and user current sign in IP. 
equals user dot email and yeah some kind of additional data so user dot uh, let's say uh, current sign in ip and let's also display that this is the email the current sign in ip and uh, let's add some kind of break on the end let's see i'm going to navigate to slash users and you see we have the deep Details about the current user, about the, well, all the users that we have in the application. Let's sign up as another user and see if it works. So I'm going to slash users and you see we have details about two users in our application. So it works. And now we, ha we have added device trackable and also we have added a users page where we can see all the details about uh, all the users. Now, not all the details, but only a couple of details. Of course, you can add more. And that's it.